One of those gap up V patterns in the market today, we see that uh, market tested some important levels, 13,000 in the NASDAQ, 4050 in the S&P, and today was the day where there was a, uh, a lot of buyers jumping in on this, uh, gave back midday, rallied back to the highs on the S&P. SR Kenetrend on the ES hasn't called this called the short side in a while, finally rolled over for uh, some short trades, but this V reversal day uh, through a kink in that trade, and the SR Counter Trends were down on the day, minus 725 on the V2M, 1M, 5M, and 15M, as well as the V2s and the SR Counter Trends. So across the board, all seven SR Counter Trends on the ES lost, minus 725 on the day. Try to take the long side on a 60 minute breakout, and it had a big pullback, so minus 200. Very choppy, sloppy day. Uh, having said that, adaptive moving average is doing well today after making new equity peaks yesterday. Um, it usually gets chopped up on days like today, but it's done well. Uh, if it's wide ranging enough, it can do well. Plus 9.12.50. Night Trader really having a rough month. You know, straight down, I mean, a lot of consecutive losers in Night Trader. So market rolled over, stopped us out, and then rallied. Um, this has been going on for several trades in a row and almost every night. And so it's very, it's a very challenging. Uh, this has one of been, been one of our best strategies. The fact that this has done so poorly, um, to me, indicates a very bearish market. So not buying this rally. Um, the bulls are very jolly. And if you want to take the other side of that mindset, um, they just think that this is a normal pullback and uh, none, of the, none of the things that would ever make the market go down are ever going to happen again. And the Fed's going to just drive this market up and it's a, a jolly bull market. But I'm not buying that, but uh, a choppy day. So Cobra 3 profit target version plus 575 uh, minus 625 on the non-profit target version. Um, as you can see, the market rolled over as soon as the profit target hit on the profit target version and it hit the stop loss on the non-profit target version. So that is Cobra 3 choppy, choppy day in the ES Night Trader VSD. Same thing. Market is um, challenging. BSD did well, 25.50. Uh, VIXOC did well in the overnight. It's, it had some recent trades that were that were down, but it did well last night, plus 9.75. Tick Wave, biggest winner on the day in the ES, plus 18.25. Uh, nice trading there. Not, it's one of the biggest winners. These two are the biggest winners actually, 25.50 and 18.25. NQ, uh, the SR counter trends did well on the NQ, so six out of seven on the NASDAQ uh, NQs did well on the SR counter trends. So there's seven different NQs, and for example, right here are all the uh, SR counter trends on the NQ, and uh, six out of seven were profitable, and this one is the only one that was not profitable, minus 725, the rest were Plus 575 on five of those, and then plus 775 on this one. So good trading on SR Counter Trend 2 um, in the NASDAQ. Not uh, not a good day in the uh, E-mini S&P. Um, let's look at Cobra 3. No trades in Cobra 3. A tick Count Trend plus 575. Tick Pulse minus 625. And let's look at the uh, SR Counter Trend, or All Strategy Access NQ2, uh, VSD, long only, good day, plus 27.40, tick wave, minus 825, long short got chopped up, minus 2700, let's look at Viper, plus 300 on the 2008 version, plus 300 on the 2021 version, gap continuation, 2019, big stop loss, minus 725, uh, EVP1, a couple of challenging days here, minus 1,025. And exhaust and reverse, no trades. Gold, we had um, Asia Gold 4, minus 525 on this trade, and that was the only trade in gold. Gold is, gold is the most uh, challenging and interesting mark to me. Um, I would think it would be higher this week, but it's not. A lot of markets are down today. Cryptos are down. Um, stock market has a little bit of a rally. A lot of the commodities are down. Crude oil, soybeans are all down. Uh, not tr no trades in those. Silver, no trades. Um, it's down on the day. Crude oil is down pretty big, but no trades in crude oil. 
So the energies are down, metals are break even to down, stock indexes are up a little bit, cryptos are down, um, natural gas up a little bit, no trades on the day, our Bob is down. What's interesting about crude oil is that now that the pipeline is, uh, the Colonial Pipeline has reopened. Um, it's like it's selling off as if this rally had every, as if this rally was based on the Colonial Pipeline being closed. And so the rally we've had the last uh, several weeks is not based on the Colonial Pipeline being closed. Um, the Colonial Pipeline being closed was just this week. And so it's as if it sold off on the fact that uh, the Colonial Pipeline is open and the only reason that it was up was because the Colonial Pipeline was closed. So um, short-term memory in the markets. I would anticipate higher prices in crude oil. Uh, let's see. Soybeans, big down day in soybeans price-wise. Esther Countertrend 2 took one trade plus 275 on the day. And um, soybeans, it's interesting because we have the core CPI number yesterday showing inflation. And after we show inflation, um, you know, grains and energies are down the day after we show inflation. So it's kind of a reversal trade, taking profits trade, sell the news trade. Plus 112.50, Cobra Euro 4. Old, you can see some of the old strategies here and some of the optional strategies here. And you can see Copper Breakout had a hit its profit target, not a, not a profit target, but time exit yesterday. So good trading in copper as copper continues to uh, be at price at price levels that are near uh, near ties. So you can see that and moving higher. So those are the trades on the day with about 19 minutes left in the session. Again, it's like a, a Tuesday was a turnaround Tuesday in the market. You saw um, you know a turn a little bit of a turnaround Tuesday intraday, um, and then. Monday and Wednesday have been sell-offs, and then Thursday is a big turnaround. So we'll see what Friday holds. One trading day left in the trading week.